Period irregularities are frequent in adolescent girls and young women of today. Some even consider it a benefit because they escape the pain caused by menstruation crap, PMS, tapons, and sanitary parts. However, an irregularity in a woman's cycle with no obvious cause is a serious threat that should be investigated right away because it could be a symptom of something worse. A disorder known as polycystic ovary syndrome is one such threat to female sexual health. Polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS, was first identified in the 1930s as Tetin Leventa syndrome. It is a common illness affecting adolescent girls and young women. Although the disorder is intimately linked to hormonal imbalance in the female body, no probable cause of PCOS has been found. PCOS is the presence of numerous cysts inside the ovary, which inhibit it from releasing mature eggs for ovulation. As a result, women and girls with PCOS have irregular periods or at times none at all. Although the precise causes of PCOS is still yet to be determined, hormonal abnormalities in the female body are thought to have a direct effect on the disorder. Sex hormones are produced in various concentrations by both male and female bodies. The ovaries in female secret three types of hormones, progesterone, estrogen, and androgen. From ovulation until menstruation, these hormones govern the female cycle. In women with PCOS, the ovaries produce more androgen, which are commonly referred as masculine hormones. This increase in androgen production is associated with an increase in insulin production. According to research, women with greater insulin levels in their body tend to create more androgens, which promotes the imbalance. The hormonal imbalance that happens due to high androgen interferes with the growth and release of egg cells. Some eggs may not mature and instead grow into cysts, which are little sacs filled with liquids. Because no eggs are released during ovulation, these cysts grow and accumulate inside the ovaries, resulting in missed or irregular periods. Because the signs and symptoms of PCOS differ from one woman to another, regular examination with the gynecologist are required for proper diagnosis. The following are some of the most common symptoms of PCOS. Inconsistent or missed periods. These women stop having abnormal flow, that the periods, the abnormal flow periods that occur more than once a month. Obesity, excessive hair on the face and body, hair loss on the hair, thickened and dark armpits, neck and breast skin, high blood pressure, high blood sugar levels, or even high cholesterol levels, pimples and blood pus. PCOS is often diagnosed in three phases in order to rule out the possible causes of the same symptoms. The first step is to go over your medical history to see if you have any previous medical or health concerns that could be linked to PCOS. Following that, a physical examination is performed to look for symptoms such as extra weight, darker skin, and high blood pressure and even cholesterol levels. A gynecologic exam is performed last to rule out any other possible illnesses that may have caused the symptoms. Although there is no specific cure for PCOS, it can be treated. Hormonal therapy is typically used in treatment to balance the body's hormone levels. Seeking treatment is critical since PCOS can lead to sexual problems and even infertility. Conclusion Polycystic ovarian syndrome which is thought to be caused by hormonal abnormalities is a severe threat to female sexual health. Thank you for watching our video that explains PCOS, including its definitions, likely causes, symptoms, risks, diagnosis, and therapy. I hope you learned a lot. If this is your first time watching our video, please subscribe to our channel and watch the other videos on our playlist. I'm not a doctor. So everything you watch here is for educational purposes only and does not serve as medical advice. Make sure you consult a medical doctor before making any health decisions. Thank you and see you again in my next video.